Hey you guys, Julie here and it is time for your most favorite time of the day, the nightly grind at Fall Creek Gallery. Hey, I know you guys have been wondering, what have you guys been up to? Well, personally, I've been up to my 350 pound boyfriend over here who is in the midst of transforming himself into a beautiful original style cigar store Indian punch statue. Now, I would have to say, I would have been giving you lots of videos all along, but it's really not a very interesting project. Well, at least the process isn't very interesting, but I can tell you about it as I'm starting here on the most interesting part, which is the color popping. Now, the first thing that we did was we carved it. Now, this is one that sat around for a while and had a little love, and then we recarved it because that's what artists do. We take things, and if they sit around a while, they get a facelift. So, Mr. Punch here, he did get a facelift. And what we ended up doing was after we did the facelift, we went back, we found any cracks, and we sealed all of them up. After we sealed them all up, we gave them a wonderful sand down. After that, I took three coats of this beautifully cream paint as a base coat to give him a beautiful finish and giving him a nice surface so that we could paint him. After that, because we're trying to make a more unique and more aged look of a statue, what we did was we took a weathering treatment to him to give more of a crackle look across his paint. Now, this is just now starting to crackle ever so slightly, which you can't see it very well, but it's very subtle. It's nothing too dramatic, but it's enough just to give it a slight patina to give it a very unique look. Now, what I'm going to be doing is in this process, I'm going to be doing a base coat in each section. And after I do each section, then I'll go back and I'll do the detail. We'll razzmatazz and we'll make him really cool because this one is going to Ohio. He's going to Mr. Byers and Mr. Byers is quite excited to get him and this other statue this next week. So, hope that helped you guys out. Hope you guys enjoy seeing this process. I'll try to upload some more photographs later so you can see how Mr. Punch is coming to life. All right, we hope you guys are having a great day. Guess what? We'll see you next time on The Nightly Grind and Mr. Punch should be done. See ya. Give them some eyelids. Let's go for the eyes next. Now in this process, we do a lot of mixing of colors because typically whatever color we need usually isn't coming out of a bottle. So we're gonna mix them all up. So I've mixed up a color of a blue eye. Also, our paintbrushes get smaller and smaller. They're little tiny things. So we got some eyelids on them. Now we're gonna give them some Eye so you can see and not look so creepy at the moment. All right, next is my statue aid, which is my stump stool since Punch is a lot taller than me. Here we're gonna get in his eyes. Now, first we'll just outline them a little bit. We're gonna add a couple 
different colorings, different colorings of blue, a little bit of green, a little black, and a little white in it once we get to the end. But just as in everything, it's always a process. We're going to take a look back, but at least he's looking like he can at least almost see a little bit. Now let's give it some detail. Here are some of Mr. Punchy's colors. All right, phase one of eyeball installation is definitely in there. Not pristinely perfect yet, but a very good start, and he can actually see where he's going right now. Meet Mr. Punch. We'll see him next time. Okay, now in this phase, due to his great love of spirits along with his cigars, we're gonna give a little bit of a rosiness on the cheeks. Now, he gets a little bit more color across here. You can tell he's definitely enjoying his evening quite well and relaxing. Give him a little bit of color, a little bit of softness. Give a little bit of a rosiness too. Let's see. Oh, got a little pink in the cheeks. Okay, now we hadn't got to his hair yet, and he really isn't a white-haired fellow. He will have some dark black hair. Now I am going to first at least try to define those eyes we just painted. Give him a little bit of eyebrows. Hit some black. probably take him a few runs, but you can at least get the original idea. You put these bushy little fellows on this man. Next, we'll get some hair painted. All right, now we're putting just a little bit of paint on his hair. You can tell he has this beautiful dark black hair. And with his eyebrows, shapes out the face. Meet Mr. Punch.